please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams here with today's video, Goldilocks and the three forks, specifically fork rebound. Is it too fast, too slow, or just right? We're doing this just like we did the shock rebound. Now, I still maintain that shocks are more difficult than forks. Forks give you an added tool to work with, an added capacity, an added trait. You'll notice the Trash or Treasure 750 is on the bench behind me. Trash or Treasure 750 teardown has begun and the rebuild is soon to follow. We'll have those videos coming out in the coming weeks. As with the shock video, we'll chat at the end about some of the frustrations and some of the key points. So buckle your seats and get ready for your fork rebound exam. Here's a preview. The front is supposed to go down, come up, and stop. And that's it. So this is making you seasick. So we're struggling with this one, right? Because that full coil has been in there probably a very long time. So. so right now, your rebound is screwed all the way in, uh -huh. right? But if you look underneath, the amount of dirty part is only a couple of mils shy of your triple clamps on the bottom. So this, we can't back the spring tension out at all. We need it, and in fact, we need more. So at this point, that, going through the corners, if you're braking and trying to enter the corner, yeah. it's going to give you this. Yeah. Okay. So the way around that is to brake early, let go, pick the gas up, hold it still, and drive through the corner like you would on the road. Which means in your session, you'll be running middle of the track, and then you'll be coming, slowing down, get yourself comfortable, and then drive it around the corner to come out apex, middle of the track. Okay. If you drive it through the corner, you'll absolutely mitigate that horror show right here of the that just won't stop because you're on the gas, so the forks extend and stay still. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. So riding-wise, you'll have to ride given what you have because I can't improve this at all. Okay. As with shock rebound, as you get closer to having it set right, it might get a little frustrating. Is it too slow? I thought it was too slow, but it turned out to be right. There's an entire video about how to bounce and set your rebound. The link is in the description box below. But what you've got to do is you've just got to start bouncing bikes. Get your buddies together, go somewhere, meet at some one of your, your houses, get in the garage and start bouncing bikes. Have your buddy try and set yours and then you try it. There's a little bit of technique in bouncing the bike. It's all in that video. Bottom line, you gotta start bouncing your bike. And don't worry about getting it perfecto mundo. Dave rarely does the first time either. You're gonna have to read the tires after you go riding. And that's why we have tire reading videos. And that's when you can really fine tune it.
Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.